Sir, I'm trying to sell this pineapple. Do you think you can... God bless you, man. Excuse me, sir. I'm trying to uh, sell this pineapple for my mom's medication. You can help me out. You don't have any money? All right, man. Hey, excuse me, sir. I am so sorry to bother you. I'm trying to sell this pineapple uh, to get my mom's medication. Do you think you have a couple bucks or anything that you can help me with to buy it? They said it's a fresh pineapple. I'm broke. All I have is 50 cents. Uh, you have 50 cents? Yeah. That's that's all you can give me? Right now, yeah. Um, if you don't mind me asking, like, where do you stay? Like, where do you live? I used to live up the hill in Grand Terrace, but I'm homeless right now. And when you say you're homeless, like, how long have you been homeless for? Off and on for about five years. Five years? Yes. And if you don't mind sharing, like, your story, what exactly happened? How did you become homeless? Well, five years ago, my mom passed away. Mm -hmm. She had COPD, and I was taking care of her. Oh, my God. And I went downhill and ended up going to prison. When I got out, I lost everything. Everything. When you say lost everything, what happened? Like, is your mom still alive or what happened to your mom? She died. She died. I'm so sorry uh, to hear that. So she had COPD, right? Yes. Okay. Um, I mean, I used to be in the medical field, so I, I understand so hard. And you were the only son that was like taking care of her? That Are there more siblings? Was, well, yeah, but they, were, they had their own lives, married with children. And they, they didn't want to come and help at all? They did, but not too much. So like on and off, but yeah. but you were the one that was like a full time, yeah, caretaker Cooked, of her. Wow, shopped, you know, clean. just just for taking care of your mom like that, you you got the reward in heaven. You know that, right? That yeah. God is watching you, and what you did for your mom. I think a lot of people should do that. What would you give a message to people right now that the the parents are struggling, the parents are sick, but the kids are not helping or the kids are just ignoring? What would you give a message to them? Family should come first. Family should always be first, right? Yes. And especially your parents, because they're the one that raised you. Whatever you are is, is because of who? The parents. The parents, right? And a, a lot of times people forget that in their lives busy. I understand people are busy. I understand people have their own family or doing other stuff. But when it's your parents and time, when they're gone, that's when people cry. They but should, when they're alive... They should bring their kids with them exactly so they should keep the parents with them right when come on we're gonna go help grandma and we, what what have you there I mean, it's you not go. that hard to do it is not that hard to do and that's like it's just like when you're going to the store let's go kids we're going to the shower correct correct <laughs> yeah yeah so so this is this is a great message and lesson to people right that are watching this video uh they're gonna know that hey we have been neglecting our parents when our parents are sick they're lonely or whatever their problem is I would say go today, hug your parents. If you don't even talk to them, you had some misunderstandings, go to your parents, talk to them. Because you might not even see them tomorrow. Tomorrow right. is never ever promised, right? Exactly. And, and based on your story, like you went, you came back and your mom was gone, right? right. So you were, never had a chance. But as a good son, you were taking care of her. So I, I salute you for that, you know, for being such a good son. Um, so that was the only problem that you had. What was the reason of you going to prison? If you don't mind sharing it. You don't have to, but you don't. Drug use. So you, you had addiction. Yes. Are you still doing it or are you trying to hope it down? You've been coming down. Trying to. Uh, have, you, have you tried going to like rehabs and stuff? Or? Yeah. And, and does it place, help? The places they send you are just, there's a bunch of drug addicts there. Right. It's like, it's hard to, it's hard to stop a, a drug when you're addicted to it when other people are doing it around you so so okay so you're saying the same type of people are there and mm -hmm. that's not going to change you because then that's that's all you have talk to, to talk about with other people because that's all they know right it's like it's like my roommate he was selling drugs wow. at the rehab wow <laughs> no way and it's like oh my what kind of rehab is this and you can't so you want to be around people that are like sober, that are good, and then you can follow them, not that the people part, that are that ready. Part. Wow. That, and that's, you got to be ready and you got to you gotta want to. Oh man, that that's really, really, to really deep. And a lot of, and any message you want to give to people that are actually right now fighting with addiction, what, what would be a message to them? For me, my opinion is look up and ask Jesus for help. Amen. So you are a believer? Yes. You believe in Jesus? Amen to that. God um, bless you, I'm man. I'm struggling, but I, I will never leave my belief, my faith. Hey, man. Hey, man. No matter Amen what happens to, to me.
I got mad at God when my mom died, but he's I'm not gonna he he's not gonna leave me or forsake me, and I shall I'll never deny him. That's wow. for sure. Wow. I will never deny him. You will never deny Jesus because that's what says in the Bible too. If you deny me, I will deny you in front of my Father Amen. too. So we don't want to do that, right? Our life is just for God, and and it's a human look. Look, you, me, all these people around here. We all are sinners. We all make mistakes. That's why we are called human. If we were so perfect, we would be called God. We are not God, right? And we cannot be God because I, we are all sinners. You know? And I try to live by the golden rule, Matthew twelve twelve. Do unto others as you would have others do unto you. Wow, man, that's so amazing. Like meeting a person like you, man. Like, trust me, I went to so many people trying to collect some money, right? I went to like Walmart. I went to Target. And you know what people are telling me? Go sell, go find yourself a job. Why are you selling this? But even though I'm telling them the situation that my mom is going through, what would you say to the people that are so judgy and they don't know your story? What would you say to them? Don't be so quick to judge. Look at the person on the inside, where right. their heart is. Right, or at least talk to me and ask me instead of just judging me saying, go from here, go get a job and that type of stuff, right? At least talk to me and ask me like, what's going on in your life, you know? Right. Is there something I can do for you? And, and you, you don't have to give me thousands of dollars. You even give me a couple of bucks. That could help, you know? You never know that $2 could even buy somebody food, right? Right. And, and you, you, you're... Like how do you know a person from the outside? Right. With you, like sometimes I'm sure you go ask people for food or money. You get a lot of rejection, right? So you, you mm -hmm. pretty much face the same thing. Right. So they shouldn't be like two dollars can actually buy somebody food why not or if you can buy somebody food buy them food okay here what i want to do is i want to go ahead and give you your money back um this was a social experiment i'm actually a youtuber i make you know videos uh with people uh what i want you to do is um this pineapple go ahead and hold it does it look like a regular pineapple to you it does it does <laughs> all right what i want you to do go ahead and turn it around and see what it says on there Thirty thousand. Yep. Do you think I'm selling it for that price? Yeah. <laughs> Why would I sell it for 30k? Or is it's there not made of $30,000 inside of it? <laughs> All right, here man. This is one I wanted to go ahead and do it for you. Man. Yeah. Yeah, you can put it down. You can put it down, man. If you get to go home with, you know, 30k, what would you what would you like do with it? Buy a car get an apartment wow that would be that would be like your your dream i can't take this money you you can't take it someone else might need it more than i do wow man that's crazy i'd probably spend it on the wrong thing you would spend it on the wrong thing so you wouldn't want it i'd rather have that you I'd rather have, you rather, rather have this, this. Okay, cool, cool. We'll go ahead and what what kind of job do you need? What what kind of work? Any. Well, not any. Have you done like construction or landscape? Warehouse. Or warehouse construction. Okay. All right, man. I will take it back then since you said, you know, you didn't want it, but God bless you, man. And and stay stay a believer, man. You believe in Jesus, so stay stay a believer.